Welcome everyone! In today's video we will check out which memory cards to buy for your Canon EOS R8. The brand new, not real entry-level full-frame camera, but say mid-range entry-level camera from Canon, so stay tuned. <laughs> Before we begin, a short explanation on how we test memory cards in cameras. So obvious first step, putting your memory card of choice into your camera. And the camera is set up for continuous shooting in highest speed and all that kind of stuff. And usually I would format the memory card, but I skip the step for this kind of demonstration. So what we do is measuring the time the camera takes to save all the images. That's from when I press a button. And you can hear it, so that's the 40 frames per second burst mode in the Canon EOS R8. Doing this for, yeah, a while, usually 45 seconds. And stop the watch once the LED yeah, starts blink uh, stops blinking or it's not lit up anymore, like this. So you have the time the camera took to save all the images. And now you're going to your PC and look up yeah, how much data is written. And if you divide both, you get megabytes per second or gigabytes per second whatsoever. That's basically it. Okay, which memory card to get? It really depends on what do you want to do with your Canon EOS R8. What is great about the camera, it's not too expensive, but you still have up to 40 frames per second in burst mode. Also a very good autofocus system. So if you want to do, let's say, sports or wildlife photography on a budget, it's a really interesting camera, especially since Canon launched last year the 100 to 400 millimeter telelens, which is also not too expensive, not too heavy. So that could be a good combination. If you want to do that kind of stuff, you will really need a fast memory card. Don't get me wrong, the image buffer in the Canon R8 is okay-ish, I would say. So you can save up to 57 pictures in the image buffer, war images, which is not too bad, or up to 100 C war images, so the compressed war format, which is also kind of okay, but you know, with 40 frames per second, it's only one and a half, two and a half seconds, so not too much. I will pick for this demonstration one of the fastest SD cards we have tested so far from WISE. This time UHS-2 memory card, V90 speed class for video. So one of the fastest cards you can get. Same test setup as before. So shooting a lot of images and you can hear it's yeah like small burst and then the camera needs some time to clear the buffer. It's not like with other camera brands which they just shoot yeah slower but continuously. With Canon it's always yeah some short burst. But as you can hear with 40 frames per second and now we are shooting in raw quality not sea raw. It's kind of okay. But obviously you can set up the camera in different ways. So now I'm using H instead of H plus. So it's in yeah, slightly reduced speed. And also I will go into C war, so the compressed war format. And yeah, you can already hear the difference. It's not yeah that fast anymore, but still really fast. And the buffer lasts much longer. And yeah, the wait time between bursts is much shorter. So if you want to do a lot of continuous shooting with your Canon EOS R8, maybe step down the really high speed a little bit and go to C war instead of war or maybe even JPEG images and you can have some yeah, longer endurance in burst mode. Okay, but let's say you are more on the budget. One card which is still really fast but a bit cheaper than the Vice card came from Kingston, the Canvas React Plus. Performance is nearly the same as with the Wise card, so I don't test it again. A really good choice, price performance wise, is the Sabrent Rocket V60. Yeah, it's really easy to remember because it's one of the few blue SD memory cards nowadays. So let's say with the Kingston or the Wise card, you usually pay a dollar per gigabyte up to one and a half dollar per gigabyte. With the Sabrent V60, Rocket V60, it's more like 20 to 25 cents per gigabyte. So really not that expensive, but it's still really fast. So same test again with slightly reduced speed. But you know, also the Sea and you can maybe hear a slight difference to the Rise card. 
so the intervals are a bit shorter and the wait times between the short bursts is a bit longer but it's like you're getting 75-80% of the performance of the wise card but you're paying five times six times less than the real high-end cards so you can see price performance wise it's yeah a huge step up you can also get pretty much the exact same performance with those two cards from Alexa the 1800X series or the Angelbird V60 Mark II. So that's really similar in terms of performance, but usually it's a bit yeah, more pricey than the really, really cheap Rocket V60, which is my recommendation as of now. But if you want to have up-to-date price performance recommendations, updated every hour with yeah, up-to-date prices, check out the link in the video description below. There you can find all test results we have with the Canon EOS R8 and roughly 40 memory cards we tested with this camera. And if you want to have some more convenience, maybe consider to subscribe. Once we reach 1000 subscribers, I can also use the info card to link. So that would be much more convenient for you. But now one more, let's say, yeah, real budget card, which comes from Kingston. Again, that's the Canvas Select Plus. And yeah, it's in huge as one memory card. So one contact row on the back, not really made for performance. But it's price performance wise really okay. Usually you pay for 128 gig below 20 US dollars. So it's not really expensive. Same test again. We're in the image buffer. Everything is fine. Full speed. But now you can hear it takes some time for the camera to save some images. So it's definitely not as fast as good UHS 2 memory cards. But it's still okay. So let's say you don't buy your Canon EOS R8 for yeah any sporty or wildlife photography kind of thing but yeah just want to have a quite well full frame camera with up-to-date technology and a good autofocus system that card would do it most of the times also video performance is good you can shoot basic 4k video so that's a totally okay ish card again if you want to check out all results tested with the canon eos r8 click on the link in the video description below if you enjoyed this video, please leave a thumbs up, maybe consider to subscribe and hit the bell icon. That's it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time. Bye bye.